Hi friends, let's create a counter which will count the number of characters we enter in a Kinter entry wizard. So that as you type on the entry wizard, the number of characters will be shown at the right side of it. Before we move, my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let's move and create the script. We'll start from here. This is our uh, Kinter we have imported and then we have the size we have declared, width and height, then the title we have written here and one label we have placed on, the, on our window. So it just says your name or you can write anything. Let's just see this, how this looks. Here it is. And here now next to it, we'll place our entry box where you can enter our characters and by the side of it, we'll display the number. So for that, let's start with first adding our e1 or our entry box one e1 this is equal to tk dot entry i'm using my parrot window is my underscore w at the top line number two we have declared it then slightly different background i am giving yellow now the higher font size i am using font is equal to 28 now let me place it on a grid so sorry e1 dot grid now row row equal to one because uh, okay first row only one row we are using column equal to two because column one is the label at the top you can see here column is one so we are placing right of it so we are giving column equal to two so column here it is two now next to it is the second label where the value of the number of text will be uh, displayed so for that i am writing l2 or label 2 tk dot label now my underscore w is the parent window initially the text it should display zero because i had to start from there so bg bg is the background now equal to slightly change i am giving light green so then i am giving my width width i am giving two because two digit i am expecting not uh, two digit number only so i am giving a width of two and here also font equal to 28 one more thing because this uh, data this on the whatever the label I, I have placed it uh, that that I have to change it because that dynamically will be displaying the number of character center so for that I will use a string variable str1 so str1 is tk dot uh, that is the string variable string var now value equal to now first time zero okay let me remove this text here as zero is not required because I am connecting my string variable here. So what I am writing is label text variable variable equal to str1. So now this string variable whatever I have declared here is connected with a default value of 0 to this label. So whenever I change the string variable value or the data in it that will be reflected on this label. Now this L2 I will place it on a grid now. Grid equal to same row row equal to 1 but write up my first entry box so column equal to 3 because 2 is my here you can see column 2 so right of it let me give a gap here so okay so up to this my layout is complete just let's see this how this looks here it is you can see entry and here you can see the level 3 uh, sorry l2 the third level uh, uh, the third wizard in this the l1 e1 or entry then the label where you will be displaying the number of text entered i can enter the text now that number of total characters will be displayed here now let's add a event to this so whenever the data is entered so e1 the entry box any uh, character is entered then that should trigger it so for that i am writing e1 dot bind but what event i will take this time i am taking key release key release not key press i can take it key press also but it is better when the key is released so for that let me just put the event here key release so key release is the event whenever the e1 is my entry box so in the entry box there is any key is released then this event will be triggered what will happen i am just writing that lambda is a event so i am passing a x here now str1 okay before that let me just start from the uh, inside so i will say e1 dot get now i am getting the whatever the user has entered the value that i am getting now what i am doing i am using len len will len will 
take count the number of characters in that so this will return me a number so len will give me a number i will brackets i'll maintain so len this will give me the number of characters entered in the entry box but that is a number and i am displaying it on a label so for that what i have to do i have to convert this number into a string by using str so when i am using str i will be using a this will convert me to a string and that will be fine now i can display it now what i will do this data or this string which is a number i will say str1 dot set now let me close the bracket so you just see first let me calculate what the user has entered on this is happen on every key release every time i press a key and release it this will happen now then i am calculating the length of it what is the how many number of characters are there then i am converting into a string by using this then that i am because it's a str1 is a string variable so i am using that to set the value up to this point str1 i am because the str1 is the string variable here it is i have declared it and connected it to here so that then what will happen this value will be reflected on the l2 now let me save this and run it once here it is now i am writing a b c d here it is moment i am key is released this entire list of a b c d is taken counted this uh, len value counts it and gives the four then i am convert converting it to a string then i am setting it here so this value keeps on changing as i am keeping on typing even if i delete something also the value will keeps on decreasing that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any doubt suggestion questions or ideas use the comment section below to post it my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently adding that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching